But joining us now in the living room is Terrence Haggerty, who is the editor of Living with Christ. I'm holding it in my hand. Um, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about um, this column too, Terry, if you could, um, and maybe talk about um, why you created this. Um, it's a new column featuring um, uh, material from bishops from across the country. Yeah, it's, uh, we're excited about it. It's uh, and of course our first issue with uh, the new heading and everything. It was your own Bishop Bishop Reed. Yeah. Um, so that that's that's very cool just to have him kind of kick it off for us officially. But yeah, the idea really was that we we have several regular columns and you know we have long time excellent writers, really a value to the readers, um, but. We don't want to get stale, right? We yeah. want to try and have offer more any time that we can. So, we it started out with an idea of we should maybe insert a new column. Well, what is it going to be? And then it just came about kind of organically brainstorming that we sh should hear from the bishops. Why not? Yeah, yeah. And uh, we got several bishops kind of already lined up, so it's good. Like I said, yeah, Bishop, Bishop Reed, Reed there, kicking yeah. it off. That's great. That's, oh, great. that's great. And how does this new content complement that which you've already been publishing before this? I think it's a column that will, it's definitely going to be different because they're hearing from their bishops. You know, we don't often, unless you live near your cathedral, mm -hmm. we don't often see our bishops. We don't often maybe hear from them. Um, so it's just another vehicle uh, for people to hear from their bishop or other bishops, right? Um, and we're, we're having bishops all across the country, actually, uh, I think, starting, <laughs> to, starting to jump in. We have some lined up. Um, but I think it's important for the bishop's voice to be out there. Yeah. Um, and again, unless you're you know, familiar with the bishop, which isn't the norm uh, with a lot of people, I think it gives them a, a kind of a down-to-earth format to, to speak to, uh, to our readers. And on the opposite side, too, to uh, talk about, um, you know, I don't know if you've <laughs> talked to Bishop Reed, but I'm sure that the bishops, too, will, will mm -hmm. find it very um, beneficial for them to get, you know, what they're thinking out to, to people from not just their diocese, but uh, other places as well. Right. And, and it's a different format, a little bit different for them. So, uh, in other words, it's not exactly a homily, per se, right? Or it's a, so it's, yeah, if, if they're familiar with our audience, which is, you know, uh, we're a national publication. We're all over the place, yeah, yeah. Uh, all over the country, and they, then it, it does sort of. I won't say it boxes them in. It's a, it's a, but it's a good way of maybe uh, altering their style a little bit yeah, to, to yeah. fit into that. Um, so, that's awesome. How'd you come yeah. up with the idea? Well, it really was something like I said, where we, we knew we needed something more, mm -hmm. and and we're always trying to. We have. There's a ton of features in Living with Christ. I mean, I'm biased, but, I mean, <laughs> uh, but we have a prayer for every day we have from the saints. You know, we have uh, primarily it is a liturgical aid. So yeah, we yeah. have all the readings uh, for every day of the month, um, and it's approved by the USCCB. Um, but there's there's reflections in there, and there, there's all kinds of little features. It would take too long to go through sure. all of them. But uh, but this really, I think, beefs it up, and it's nice for people to hear from. Names they may know, but uh, haven't heard their voice so much. Have you, t I, know, I know it's just kind of starting here too, but what has been the response from the bishops that are, have done it or, you know, some of the people that are... are yeah, we have a couple in the can. Okay, um, yeah. So they're, they've been very gracious. Uh, the, the, the bishops I've dealt with so far uh, with some of the material that they sent in, you know, it's a little gentle nudge here or there of like, can we tweak this, can we do that? Um, but they've been very good. Yeah, and I did receive uh, some text that was a little long and then you're kind of like, oh, I, I have to cut the bishops. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's one thing from, you know, just uh, everyday uh, regular columnist. But, but anyway, no, they've been very good about it, uh, understanding our format and, and, uh, and sort of playing to that. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's great that you're still innovating because you've been doing this for a while. Can you tell us a little bit more about your personal background with Living with Christ? Yeah, I started with Bayard, which is our parent company, which is a, a French company, but so we're part of the Assumptionists, so yeah. right down the road in Worcester. That's great. Uh, and I started with Living Faith, which is a, a, a different publication than Living with Christ, but a, a, they pair well together. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a daily devotional. So I was there uh, for in editor living with Christ for five years and now I'm doing living 
uh, sorry, Living Faith. It's easy to transpose. <laughs> yeah. <all the> I <laughs> started with Living Faith, and now I'm editing Living with Christ. So uh, they're different, definitely. Uh, Living with Christ has a lot of, as I mentioned, a lot of little ingredients mm. uh, in there uh, for every single day. And we have to, like I said, have USCCB approve it and all that. And Living Faith was a, a reflection a day kind of a thing, you know, a couple hundred words. and um, So I've been doing that, yeah, for Bayard uh, this time and previously did communications work. I uh, was, was in TV uh, for the Diocese of Springfield for 15, 16 years, yeah. Oh, wonderful. If people want to find out more about this, and, and this has been going on for a number of years, Living with Christ, Living with Faith as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the background is that Bayard wanted a presence in North America uh, about more than 25 years ago. So Living with Christ, you notice the, the, uh, the, the addition is our 25th, this is our 25th year. Okay, great. Um, yeah, yeah. So it's, but Canada had, was ahead of us, and Novalis Publishing was publishing Living with Christ originally. Um, and we kind of, the Bayard looked at what Canada was doing and we kind of borrowed their, their background material and just put the, uh, the U.S. readings in there. Yeah. That's how it started. Okay. So it was really right. just kind of a, uh, an amalgam there. And then we sort of, uh, over the years, That's great. made it our own. And um, do you guys have a website? People can find out more about this? Yes, or, it's yeah. livingwithchrist.us. Dot .us, all right. That's our website. Excellent. So there's plenty of things available on the website, but the magazine itself, uh, you would need to subscribe, except sure. if you want a September issue. Okay. We are offering a, a, a September issue for free. Um, wow. There's a there's a code and all that. I don't have that in, <laughs> in, my, in my head. But, uh, I'm sure we'll relate that to viewers. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. That, that's great. So people can check this out and get it for free um, as well. Um, Living with Christ, Terry. Thank you so much for being with us and. Uh, and uh, all the best as you continue on with this Bishop's Column. It sounds like a great thing, yeah. Yeah, we're looking forward to it, yeah. Thank you.